Matthew Perry's Friends co-star Lisa Kudrow says he survived impossible odds in the foreword to his memoir. You look good. Thanks. Just a year before the actor's untimely death, his longtime friend and former co-star penned the foreword to his candid memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, which came out in November 2022. Lisa writes that over the years, she was often asked how Matt was doing and revealed how she felt about the question. I understand why so many people asked it. They love Matthew and they want him to be okay. Adding, me too. You are together. together. Are you we're this significant. Close? We're significant to each other. But Lisa says that she never knew how to answer the question, explaining that it was his story to tell. As he'll tell you in this book, he was keeping it a secret, and it took some time for him to feel comfortable enough to tell us some of what he was going through. That secret? His battle with addiction. In fact, last year, Perry told the New York Times he spent around $9 million over the course of several decades in an effort to get sober and went to rehab 15 times. You get into a place in your life where you're having a problem and you either, you know, lie down about it or step up to bat and take your, uh, take your swing, and that's what I did. It wasn't, it wasn't really a choice, it was just, you know, that's what I have to do because there's so much out there that I like and I didn't want to lose any of it, you know? And while Lisa acknowledged that she and the other Friends co-stars knew that he was struggling with his demons, they didn't know how to address it. Over those years, I didn't really try to intervene or confront him because the little I knew about addiction was that his sobriety was out of my hands. Lisa says that after Friends came to an end in 2004, she didn't see or talk to Matthew as much, and it wasn't until reading his memoir that she realized how much Matthew had overcome. The six of us haven't been in a room together in front of people in 25 years, and only once a few years ago just privately for dinner. So, and we had a great time. He has survived impossible odds, but I had no idea how many times he almost didn't make it. I'm glad you're here, Maddie. Good for you. I love you. Where would Phoebe be 2021? Can you even wrap your brain around like where she and everybody else would be? Yeah, I mean, I've thought about it. I think they're all, <laughs> I think they're all just really happy. Lisa's comments have resurfaced after Matthew died on Saturday at his Los Angeles home from an apparent drowning. Reports indicating the late actor was found in his hot tub. He was 54 years old. I had to have a couple of days to, you know, just let it soak in. He was part of a family and he was the first one to not be part of that family anymore. On Thursday, Friends director Jim Burroughs opened up to the Today Show about Matthew's sudden passing, noting that he reached out to the female cast members, Lisa, Jennifer Aniston, and Courtney Cox. I texted the girls but the day we found out, and they were, they were destroyed. It's a brother dying. On Wednesday, Friends creator Marta Kaufman told the Today Show Perry was sober when she spoke to him two weeks prior to his death. He was in a really good place, which is why this seems so unfair. LAPD tells ET foul play is not suspected at this time, but they would not comment on what was or wasn't recovered at the scene, as the investigation into his death is ongoing. They added that an autopsy has been conducted, but Perry's cause of death has been deferred pending the toxicology results.